and magnetic power. Game of Skill is next, flanked by Victory Cruise and the Duke of York. To the outside, Taurus Dream, CR Excalibur, and a Miracle Lane. It's fourth race post time from Woodbine. The fourth race. The second elimination, the first elimination, that is, of the 2001 Breeders' Crown, two-year-old Colton Gelding Trot. There, off and trotting, and Andover Hall had a good start along the inside. Game of Skill a little bit faster. Taurus Dream is fastest of all. Taurus Dream headed at the front. Game of Skill held to the outside, second. Andover Hall measures the leaders from third. Victory Cruise safely away in fourth. At Smell of Our Maple to trot through in fifth. CRX Caliber held out wide from sixth position. There goes Andover Hall already attacking up on the lead. Moving third from last over to the quarter along the inside was Magnetic Power. And it's back parked three wide to Miracle Lane and Duke of York was trailing and overhaul Campbell not taking any chances off stride is victory cruise in the first turn Taurus dream sits along in second game of skill is third and Malabar Maple is fourth into the back stretch three wide is Miracle Lane after three eighths of the mile the opening split 28 and one and and overhaul is up top by two Taurus dream trots along in second game of skill is third two more lengths to Malabar Maple on the inside from fourth and a three wide journey all the way to the half for Miracle Lane out around CRX caliber along the inside magnetic power Duke of York laying just off the leaders behind a wall of trotters though and trying to catch the pack is victory cruise 58 and 2 the half and overhaul the leader a length onto the final turn and pop to the outside was Malabar Maple trotting right on uh, that's Malabar Maple trying to join and overhaul Taurus Dream is back in third CRX caliber is on a break game of skill along the inside Duke of York picking up a lot of pieces now appears into the top five that's magnetic power brought out again Miracle Lane is only two wide out around Victory Cruise and Overhaul getting chased into the stretch by Malabar Maple. 128 and 2, three quarter time. They're in the final eighth of the first Breeders' Crown Elimination. Two year old Colt Trot and End Overhaul calmly trots back away by three and is just crushing this field at will. That's End Overhaul easily keeping his undefeated record intact to win his two year old Crown Elimination by about four on Malabar Maple, Duke of York. Magnetic power and it was close for fifth with Victory Cruise charging a Taurus Dream and overhaul 157-1. And overhaul returned as the fourth race winner, Garland Lobel, two-year-old brown colt from Amur Angus, owned by Erky Lockinen of Georgetown, trained by Robert Stewart, driven to victory by John Kemble. Undefeated in eight lifetime appearances, 157 and one, and overhaul in the first Breeders' Crown elimination. John, uh, he's undefeated. Seven for seven, now eight for eight. Uh, any a added pressure on you at all when you're uh, out there driving a colt like this? No, he's going to get beat sometime. I just hope it's not next week. I mean, yeah. they, if he races enough, uh, they all lose sometime. But, uh, you know, it's just uh, I'd rather have a horse like that that's favorite and, and that kind of pressure than driving a horse that's uh, 20 to one and has no chance. John, we're watching the stretch drive here now. Uh, top the stretch, you give him a little chirp and he took right off on you? Yeah, he was, and then uh, just spoke to him uh, once or twice and kept his attention there from there to the wire and um, he was well within himself all the way through the lane. Not many of the trotters going off stride here tonight. Uh, how is the track tonight, John? Well, it's a little sloppy on top, but they're actually getting a hold of it quite well. The the rain has packed it down, and uh, I think it's maybe uh, better than some nights when it's dry and loose. Okay, John Campbell, the best in the business, gets the job done here with Andover Hall, eight freight, one earlier with Cameron Hall, both trained by Bob Stewart. The best luck the rest of the night, John. Thanks a lot, Ken. Okay, run out of the fourth race. Here's Frank Salive. <laughs> 